I'm Rick Johansson and this is Iron Echo Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can generate mazes automatically using free software and we'll go through some easy techniques in Inkscape on how to stylize them and turn them into art. We'll take the original data that comes raw like this. I'll show you how to turn it into a path and then you can go as complicated as you want making these 3D designs or my favorite, we'll put a gradient on it. As a bonus, I'll also show you how to do a circular maze like this. Today's video was sponsored by Fiverr. They gave me some free credit, so I asked three designers to produce maze-related activity books. At the end, we'll see what they came up with, compare what you get with each service tier level, and we'll see how my tutorial mazes that we're going to do stack up. So let's begin. If you want to be on the same scale, if you're going to follow along, this is the A4 template. You can get it by going to File, Document Properties. The default format should be A4. If you don't see it, just switch over to it. Now we can jump right into the free program. I'll have the link in the description. Codebox.net slash Pages Maze Generator. This is all thanks to Rob Dawson. He put this out there for free. And it's under an MIT license, which gives you free commercial use, modification, distribution, private use. From the main Maze Generator page, you'll see you have options. You can do the square grid, circular, hexagonal, even a triangular. We'll click on the link here. It brings you to the generator itself. It's a nice simple layout. We'll start with square. For the width, I'm going to change it to 15 by 15. Seed can be random. For simplicity, we'll keep it on instant maze. I will change the entrance exit to left to right. I spend some time playing around with all these different choices. This is the way that the algorithm will lay out the solution. I like recursive backtrack. And not to nitpick on the UI, rather then click new maze down here go back to the top new maze and there it is do we like this one if you don't like it just go to back and you can generate another one i think this looks pretty good so we'll go to download make sure you tell it where to go i'm going to put it in a folder called fiverr maze it's an svg file which is exactly what we need that's going to let us modify it inside of inkscape save we'll come back to this to make the circular grid but for now Let's open up some space. All you need to do to get it onto the canvas is literally drag it from your folder, put it into the canvas, let go. In the pop-up, you want the first one. Include SVG image as an editable object. 300 DPI, okay. And there it is. So this is what you get. If you double click, don't know if you can see, it's made up of all these different boxes, which include fill and stroke information. So the first thing we have to do is eliminate the white boxes. There's a real simple method, rather than click and collect all of them, click on one of them, go up to edit, select same, fill color. And now they're all selected, delete. What we're left with is all of the strokes you can see by clicking on them, but we need to combine them so they're not individual pieces like this. The way you do that, you click and drag over everything. If it doesn't collect everything like that, try selecting one piece first and then click and drag over everything. Go up to path, combine. The reason we do that is I can now open up the fill and stroke menu object fill and stroke and if I go to the stroke tab I can now change the colors and it's all one thing so it's giving me pac-man vibes let's go with the red and click over to the stroke style tab it's a 0.882 millimeters let's make it more interesting let's do 2.5 millimeters instantly it's a lot thicker but I don't like these rounded corners over here you see this thing cap this is no cap Here's the round cap. Let's go with the square cap. I think that looks a lot cleaner. The next step is a very subtle change. If you click on edit paths by node, you can see this is all a stroke because we know we're playing with the stroke. It'll be easier if it all becomes a fill. And the way to do that is to go to path, stroke to path. You don't have to do this step. It actually makes it a little bit more heavy with more nodes, but I prefer this method if you're going to make the 3D effect we're about to do or things like that. I'll go back to selector tool. Now, if I go to the fill tab, the maze is colored. I can see it's all a fill. I think I'll skip ahead. I'll put the gradient on it first. For contrast, I'll make a black background. Select the maze, click back over to fill and change it to linear gradient. The default We'll start at whatever your base color was. Let's change that to a pink purple. Click over to the other side and you have to go down to the alpha slider to make that full opacity. I'd like to have this other side be more yellow. You can drag either side to adjust where the gradient goes or you can double click on the slider, add another color. I wanna show you that 3D effect now. Click back on the maze, 
I'll change the fill back to solid and we'll do something red. Inkscape 1.3 has a cool new effect if you go up to extensions, generate from path, it's called long shadow. You get a pop-up box and I played with the figures earlier. For length, try eight and angle 145. I'll try live preview. There it goes. I'm gonna change it though, apply, close. I'm trying to take just the top off. Double click until you get just the top, there it goes. This whole part, this long shadow part, change that to black, then you can put the top back on and you have another look. For a variety, you can take your base, slide that under there. To recap so far, we took the original maze data and we walked through the different steps with Inkscape. Let's do the circular grid, then see what Fiverr can come up with. I'll go back to code box. I'm back on the main page. We'll click over on the generator, but this time we'll do circle. And the reason I wanna show you this is, when I asked Fiverr, they made some pretty cool designs where they had graphics inside of the maze or they change the actual perimeter of the maze. The way that you do that is you click on create mask. You collect the pieces that you don't want to be part of the maze, save the mask and hit new maze. Now the player can go into the maze and end up with some type of graphic in the center. Also, I wanted to show you if you wanna produce the solution, hit solve and there you go. You can download it with the solution, which I thought was a very nice touch clear the solution. And from this point, just hit download the exact same process that we did with the square. It's the same thing you do with your circular grid. It's really unlimited to what you can come up with. So let's see what Fiverr can do. The first time I actually used Fiverr was for a party I was planning and I had a professional DJ come up with a radio drop. For $20, it was pretty professional with the beat drop, the sound effects, the professional voiceover. He read the copy exactly as I wrote it. That's a little bit out of the scope for today. Let's go see the designers I picked. The first one was Hamza. I did the basic service for $5. He says, I will design maze, crossword, and word search puzzles workbook. I liked his samples. He said, 3D delivery. It came almost instantly within 24 hours. And this is what I got. A whole bunch of puzzles and the maze. Here's where he must have used the mask. And for $5, less than 24 hours, I thought this was excellent. The instructions it gave him, I said it was for my son's eighth birthday. It actually looks a little bit like my son. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Creative Captain said, I will make modern attractive maze activity pages for you. I did the basic package, $20. Here's his samples. And this right here, I could have taken a shape of some sort, like a map or something, and made the maze into an object. My instructions for him were, let's do a space theme. Here's actually my review. Excellent maze sheets. This was for $20. He took it to the next level with the cutout. What would this be? Alien? satellite. You get the picture. He produced over 30 designs in about 48 hours. Really easy to work with. That's the creative captain. Finally, the one that I was most excited about. I did the premium service thanks to Fiverr. $70. Mustafa said, I will design maze, puzzles, word search, book cover with interior. Here's his samples. Here's my work again. <laughs> Great work. Excellent communication. Very accommodating to my request. He was good. Let me show what he did. Cruise amazing mazes. Full color cover. Outstanding. And the interior. Here's that mask I was talking about. I was only asking for about 50, but he came through 165. Look at all these things. Different types of mazes. This is a new, what is this called? A noodle maze? Pretty impressive. For $70, he actually created an entire book you could send out to print on demand somewhere. All based on the input that you give. Thanks again to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. If you have projects that you want to offload or you want help or it's something that goes beyond your scope, you really should check it out. There's so many options, brand identity, illustrations, architecture, print design. It's pretty much endless and it's there if you need it. So check it out at fiverr.com. I'll have a link in the description below or up here on the screen and see what they have to help you today. If you have questions on any of this, let me know and we'll see you next time.